Guys, my name is Ankush Gaurav and I welcome you to Con2 series. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to install and set up Maven on our computer. Now what I'll do, I'll create a simple Java based project using Maven from scratch. And at the same time while doing so, I will explain every single Maven concept in a detailed way. Like What's the concept of a Maven repository? What's a pom.xml file? What's the concept of an archetype, etc, etc, step by step. All right, let's start. Open the command prompt in your computer by typing CMD. And here, go to the directory where you want to create your first Java project using Maven. Because I want to create my first project here at this location. So I would copy it and paste it here cool so here i'm at this location where i'm gonna create my first java project using maven guys in general what a developer does as a first step for creating a fresh java project if he's not using any tool like maven he creates the overall project structure himself manually and the important point to note over here is in order to perform this task manually he has to decide on some important factors like what all configuration files are required for this project in which directory he's gonna put all java source files in which directory he's going to put all compiled classes etc etc guys sometimes things may go complicated for him if he has to decide on project structure for an application which is supposed to use some XYZ framework like Spring MVC framework or a combination of frameworks like Spring MVC and Hibernate frameworks combination. And on top of this, if he is really not an experienced developer, then that's a big trouble. In that case, whatever he's gonna decide for the project structure task, that may not be the right way of handling or doing things or may not be based on some of the good practices which in general all experienced developers follow in the IT industry for performing the same kind of task. So to conclude, the task of creating project structure manually without using a tool like Maven is a real tedious task and sometimes it may need hours and hours of developers time. Now if you decide to perform this task using Maven then things are actually very simple and can be done in just a few seconds. You just need to type this command and you're done. MVN archetype generate. When you run this command, it's gonna ask you a very simple question like a genie. What kind of project structure you want me to create? Is it for a web application or for a non-web application? Is it for an application which is going to use some XYZ framework or a combination of some frameworks? Or is it going to be for a very simple web services application? So whatever information you would provide to it, it's going to create the project structure for that application in just a couple of seconds without you doing any single task for it manually. Isn't it great? Yes, before I show you this command running and you follow me for any of the steps which I'm performing here, please make sure that your computer is connected with internet. And why we need that? We're gonna look at that in just a couple of seconds. Because this computer is already connected with internet, so we are good to run this command. Let's press enter to run it. Guys, if you observe here, immediately after pressing enter, it has started downloading few programs from internet. Now, what are these programs which it's downloading here instead of running this command? Actually, here Maven is downloading some programs from internet, which it calls as Maven plugins, which it would need in order to run MVN archetype generate command. The concept is, before running any Maven command, Maven would need to download some very specific set of plugins from internet, which are needed by it to run that command. These plugins do not come as part of Maven installation and are present on internet on something called as a Maven repository, which is maintained by Maven people. So this is how it works. 
So when we run a Maven command for the first time on any computer, Maven tries searching for all plugins required by that command at this location on that computer. And if it doesn't find all required plugins there, it simply downloads them from Maven repository and saves at this location on that computer. And once it finishes downloading all, it simply runs that command by using all those downloaded plugins. So next time when you run the same command again on the same computer, it simply runs that command without performing that whole exercise of downloading all required plugins from start. Cool. So as expected, after downloading all required plugins for MVN Archetype Generate command, Maven has run the command and is now asking me to choose one option from this big list of options. Basically here it's asking me to provide the information about what kind of project structure I want it to create for me. If it's for a Spring MVC web project, if that is the case, then then I would choose this option, that is 19th option. It says an extremely simple Spring MVC archetype configured with no XML. And if I want it to create the project structure for an application which is based on a combination of Spring MVC and Hibernate frameworks, then I would choose this 113th option. Now in this demo, just for simplicity purpose, Let's create a simple non-web Java based application and for that we would need to choose this option. This 510th option. It says an archetype which contains a sample Maven project. So if I choose this option, then Maven is going to create the project structure for a simple non-web Java application. Guys, before I choose this option and press enter, let me tell you an important point over here. All these options which you are seeing here are basically called as archetypes by Maven. So if I speak in terms of Maven language, then I would say that here I'm going to select an archetype whose name is Maven Archetype Quick Start and whose option number is 510 and which has a capability to create the project structure for a simple non-web Java application. In your case, whichever kind of application you want to create, please go on selecting an appropriate archetype from this big list of archetypes by reading through their descriptions. All right, so let's choose 510 over here and press enter. After pressing enter, it's now asking me which version of uh, this archetype you want to select. So here I would select the latest version of this archetype that is 1.1. So here I would provide sixth option. Let's press enter. Cool. So now after this, it's asking me to provide the value of something called as group ID for this Maven project. So what's this group ID? Because group ID is a unique value which you tell who has created the Maven project or who is the owner of the Maven project. And Maven has recommended a very simple way to find out its value. It says, whichever organization is creating the Maven project, the group ID for that project would be the reverse of the domain name of that organization. So what it means is, let's say this project is being developed by a company whose name is Gone to Software and whose domain name is gone to software.com. So according to this guideline, the group ID for this project would be the reverse of its domain name. That is com dot gone to software. Guys, there are many other things I have to tell you about the concept of group ID, you know, which we provide to every Maven project that we would take in the immediate subsequent tutorial. For now, let's provide this value and press enter. Now it's asking me to provide the value of something called as artifact ID for this Maven project. Because every project that we develop has some kind of outcome. It could be a jar file, 
it could be a var file or it could be any other distribution archive file now when maven generates the outcome or uh, you know generates the distribution archive file for any maven project it gives some name to that file and that name it decides based on this formula artifact id hyphen version dot extension so if i provide here maven demo as artifact id and version as 1.0 snapshot then according to this formula the name of the distribution archive file for this project would be maven demo hyphen 1.0 snapshot dot jar and why it's jar file because this is going to be a simple non-web java application all right let's press enter now it's asking me to provide the value of something called as package property for this maven project so what's this because whatever project structure is going to create for me it's going to put some sample java source files and sample junit test classes in that project structure so it's asking me in which packet it should put all that sample code so here i would provide com dot contour software dot demos let's press enter and here just confirming whether all values which we have provided over here are correct or not as before i confirm these values let me tell you some interesting points about the uh, artifact id and version properties which we entered here guys if you find snapshot string in the version property of any maven project it simply means that that project is still under development and is not yet completed it just a maven convention and whatever name you would provide to this artifact id property here you know whatever value you would provide to this artifact id that value maven is going to use to provide the name to the root folder of the project which it's going to create over here all right let's confirm it cool it has successfully created the project structure for this application for me let's see what it has done so here it has created this project structure for me and if you find its uh, root directory's name is maven demo which is nothing but this artifact id value and here in this root folder of the project which it has created it has put one file with the name pom.xml file and a folder with the name source and source folder has two folders main and test main folder has a package com.contorsoftware.demos which has a sample java source file and test folder has the package com.contorsoftware.demos which has a sample junit test class this all this which it has created for us we're going to look at in detail in the immediate subsequent tutorial in the next part of uh, you know how to use maven there's a big thank you for learning maven with me if you have any feedback or comments please provide them below the video or simply write to me on this email id for all of your queries please hit the like button if you really like this video and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel gone to series and i'm going to catch you in the next part of this tutorial